What's up my friends, how you doing today? I'm wondering how many of you watching this video right now click the thumbnail and are asking to themselves, why Jean-Felix, why are you making another eyes video? That's true, I've already made actually quite a few and there's a lot of eyes video online. But the reason is I had some interrogation or problems in the past making my clear eyes at home and I didn't know why. I was getting some different result every time and I was always using the same technique. So I finally got the patience of making a very thorough eyes testing and now I'm ready to share a result with you. I'm not saying that the other videos that I've made are obsolete, not at all, just that this video is kind of an update or an upgrade on these previous videos. So if you guys are ready, today I'm gonna share with you what today is my favorite way to make clear eyes at home. Let's go. All right, so before we dive into the result of my research, just in case it is the first video that you ever watch about how to make clear eyes at home, let's just make a little recap. What is clear eyes? How do we make it? And why do we want some? All right, so first, what is clear eyes? It is ice made out of water with as little impurities and gas as possible. But that doesn't stop there. If you take that kind of water and simply throw that into the freezer with no specific method, you will still get a cloudy ice. So that's when the how comes into play. The method that we use to make clear ice at home is called directional freezing. And without it, even though you have the purest water as possible, you will always get cloudy ice. I'm not gonna go through all the steps for directional freezing today, but if you wanna know more about the technique, I'm gonna link my tutorial right up here. All right, so now, why would we wanna go through all of this just to make ice at home? It is very simple, and no, it is not just because clear ice looks awesome. It's also because clear ice melts slower. And when you use ice into your drink or into your spirit, what you want to do is to chill your drink down and you want to add a little bit of dilution, but you don't want to water it down. So we need ice that will melt as slow as possible for better control. So that's it for the recap. Now, what are the problems that I faced and what are the tests that I've made? When I was making my clear ice at home, most of the time I was simply using tap water and using my cooler for directional freezing. I was simply putting that into my freezer and I was never getting the same result. Many of you told me that there are some things that we can do to fix that and I put everything to test. So what I did is I used different temperature in my freezer to make faster or slower freezing. And all these two, I put them to test with tap water, boiled water and filtered water. And here are the results. With the fast freezing process and tap water, I got 48 millimeters of clear ice. Then with filtered water, I got 55 millimeters and with boiled water, 68 millimeters of clear ice. Then with a slower freezing process and once again with tap water, I got 50 millimeters of clear ice. With filtered water, 56 millimeters and with boiled water 72 millimeters of clear ice so i think it is clear we have a winner and it's boiled water with slow freezing process so let's go through what i've done and what i recommend you do to achieve the same result so first boil the water for about three minutes and then remove it from heat and let it cool down to room temperature Second, you're gonna pour the water into an insulated mold. I use the cooler and make sure to remove the lid for the directional freezing. And then I let it freeze for 60 hours or so to let it freeze all the way through just to make sure I'm gonna have as much clear ice as possible. Then for the temperature of my freezer, mine is set at medium low for a slower freezing process. All right guys, so this is it. This is how I get the best result for my clear eyes at home now. I hope you find it useful. And don't forget, if you wanna know more about how to cut your eyes or how to make the directional freezing method, I'm gonna link all the videos that I've made previously about that in the show note. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm.